Welcome to this fourth Java uh, tutorial um, in our fire simulation. So, in this part, we will do um, we will make our cells uh, as an array, learn to print them out, so we can uh, debug them, and we will start using the game timer. I talked about in the last one about making the board, but we will we will wait for that, and we will do the the arrays first. So, the first thing we are going to do is um, to actually make an array. So, we say public void make cells. And we want two parameters for this. We want our int array x value and our int array y value. So, that's the size, uh, say, well, our x and y size. And then we, uh, if we look at, let's see here. Look at our fire simulation here. Our oh, this is actually a little bit quick and small. Let's try something bigger and something slower. Okay, so if we look at our cells here, they're all five pixels wide. But our so our picture is a thousand pixels wide, but we actually only have like 200 cells um, and Therefore, we need an array with 200, like, um, with an index of 200 uh, instead of a thousand. Because if we do that, we get way too many. Uh, and to do that, we need to take our x value and divide it with five because the size of pixels is what five. So this should be pretty easy and pretty simple. So let's do this. So let's make two new, new temp temporary values. Let's say, let's see here, int temp x. So our temporary x is equal to array x divided with five. Let's copy this. Say the y value there. So now we have these two, and then we need to make an array of cells. So we make uh, say private uh, int this here and call it cell array. And we just create it, but we don't initialize it to anything because we don't know its size before we get down here. <clears throat> so down here we can say cell array equal to new integer and we can say um, if we say array x for example we will get 400 but we just need one-fifth of that so therefore we do temp x and temp y now we create the array but we need to populate it with something um, and to do that, we are going to use two for loops. So, say, oh, not an enhanced for loop, just a regular for loop, int i equals zero. Say i is less than temp x, and i plus plus. And then say int j is equal to zero j is less than temp y and j plus plus and now we can then say cell array i j is equal to something but what do we want to put in i want to put in number four and five where four is a normal tree and five is a pine tree so how do we do this we want to create some random numbers so I'll say up here. Oh, ah, let's do it like this here. I'll say random, rand equal new random. So now we can make use rand to get a new random number. So let's say rand dot next integer, and I want a, I want a zero or one. And that's two numbers, zero and one. 
So therefore I want two numbers. And then I want to plus with four because then if I get a zero, I plus with four, that will be equal to four. If I get a one and I plus with four, that will be equal to five. So that would be neat to have four and five instead of zero and one. So let's try and run this and I think we'll get an error or I know we'll get an error, but we don't know what random is. We need to import Java util rain, oh, random to use the random function. And now we don't get any errors. So we have made the array and now we want to let's try and print it out just to see if it actually works. Say public. A lot of these functions could be private, uh, or they sh they maybe should be private, but whatever. Uh, print cells, and we need an array of cells. So we say integer. Uh, let's call it uh, my array. And let's use now up here we use double for loop. Let's use double enhanced for loop this time. So to do that, we need a one dimensional array and let's call it um, array 1D and let's pass in my array and then we'll print out new line. And the next Enhance for loop, we will say int i and let's pass in um, array 1d and then let's print out i and a space and then let's uh, so let's call these so up here we want to call make cells and we want the x value and the y value so we say x size y size and then we want to print out so we say print cells and want the array which is cell array let's see if that runs and let's make this here but now we don't want a too big array so let's just do this and it print out wrong let's see why um we have this and this oh this needs to be not a new line, just a line. There we go. So we have 20 times 20. That's great. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Yep, 20, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. 2, 4, 6, 8, 20. 20 times 20. It might look higher than it actually is. Hmm. Yeah, whatever. And our size is up here, 20 times, or it's 100 times 100, there's room for 20 uh, cells. So we don't actually want to print this out all the time, because that would be a mess if we get bigger sizes, and that was a small size. So now we want to make our timer that, wants, that we want to update uh, our cells with. So let's make a um, new public void game timer. And this one needs to be public because we're going to use it in another place. Want int time time. Let's see like this. And then we want a timer task to call and we call it task and it's a new timer task. Oh, we have this like this here. And then we want to call public void run from inside the timer task and that timer task we want to actually draw our cells we don't we haven't made a draw cell function so we can quickly make that public void draw cells and since we don't actually want to draw the cells right now we can just print out uh, let's say beep so it beeps every time we want it to so let's call draw cells and let's close this one and let's have a new timer and call it timer new timer new timer there we go 
and that timer we need to have a schedule C H E D task and we want to schedule our task um, zero and then we want to use the time time as the time for a schedule timer and let's try and compile that and we get errors because we haven't imported what we need so we import Java dot util dot timer task and Java dot util dot timer and now we don't have any errors so if we run that nothing happens it doesn't print out a beep why because we don't call game timer anywhere so let's go in here in our by simulation Java and call GUI dot game timer and it needs a time so let's pass in time and let's say every second now it prints out beep every second until we we'll close the application quits all good say every tenth of a second prints out ten a second one a lot quicker that's a lot more or we can get like a lot slower but this will get boring in the end because it will be so slow before we can actually see something happening so let's just clear the console and continue so that was our uh, printing of an array making array a game timer and we set up our initial drawing of our cells so I think that's enough for our fourth part and the next part we will go and start manipulating the cells so see you there